All right, gather round, folks. Today we're diving into the tale of the Northern European Enclosure Dam, or as I like to call it, Europe's pricey keep-out sign to the sea. Picture this. Some folks looked at the ocean with all its vast, watery arrogance and thought, yeah, we can box that in. Inspired by a mix of desperation and the kind of ambition that usually starts with hold my beer, the Need Project is essentially a mega dam, or two to be precise, meant to give the ocean's rising levels a giant concrete slap. In the grand tapestry of human versus nature, the tale of the Northern European Enclosure Dam, or Need, emerges as a vivid thread of ambition and alarm. Here we have Northern Europe, a region staring down the barrel of rising sea levels, contemplating a project so audacious that it makes building a mountain look like kindergarten craft time. This isn't just any construction project. It's the equivalent of putting a giant cork in the ocean's relentless advance. The NEED project serves as a dramatic what-if, highlighting the extreme lengths we might go to to combat the effects of climate change. Less about immediate plans, more a flare shot into the night sky of environmental discourse. Why go through all this trouble, you ask? Because apparently, the idea of turning major cities into underwater attractions isn't appealing as it sounds. The oceanographers who created this plan conceived this aquatic great wall as a dramatic what-if, a nudge to get us to take climate change seriously before we all actually need to live in a water world sequel. It's the engineering equivalent of saying, I'm not saying we should do it, but we could. Let's get technical, shall we? The Channel Dam would be a whopping 161 kilometers of no trespassing sign stretching between England and France. Depths, we're talking an average of 85 meters, with a dip down to 102 meters just to keep things interesting. Meanwhile, the North Sea Dam would play connect the dots from Scotland to Norway, spanning 145 kilometers. Oceanography wasn't my major, but I'm pretty sure that translates to a whole lot of concrete. The dam would cost 250 to 500 billion euros and a construction party lasting 50 to 100 years. How did they come up with these? Magic 8-ball, tarot cards, consulting the oracle? Who knows, but it gives you a sense of scale, like planning a trip to Mars because you're bored with Earth. Imagine the meetings for this. So, what do you want to build now? followed by a lot of squinting at maps and double-checking if someone accidentally added a couple zeros to the budget. This isn't just building a dam. It's trying to put Mother Nature in a headlock. And Mother Nature has a notorious record of hitting back. Hard. If the need were to go up, the North Sea suddenly becomes the North Lake. Sure, it might be nice to not have your backyard periodically turn into an aquarium, but there's a tiny chance we'd also be messing with the few million years of ecological balance. Fish stocks, bird migration, that one beach you like, everything gets an overhaul. And let's be honest, humanity's track record with nature is like a bull in a china shop, except the bull thinks it's doing interior design. Life post-need would be interesting. Imagine a world where crossing the pond doesn't mean flying to New York, but literally walking to Norway. On the bright side, shipping routes get a major shortcut, and hey, new rail and road links. On the not-so-bright side... Congratulations on your new mosquito breeding grounds. Sure, living on the doorstep of a mega structure like the Need would make for great dinner party stories. Back in my day, we used to worry about flooding. Now, we just walk over to France for lunch. But beyond the novelty and engineering circle jerks lies a stark reminder. The Need is a monument to potential desperation, a 500 billion euro what if in the face of climate change. In the end, whether the need ever moves from paper to reality isn't the point. It's a conversation starter, a dramatic nudge to get us thinking about the future we're creating, or trying to dam up. So next time you hear about a proposal to build something monumental, ask yourself, are we trying to solve the problem, or are we just building a bigger wall to hide behind? Remember, when it comes to dealing with Mother Nature, she always has the last laugh, and she's not known for her subtlety.